Hi guys, I'm James McIntosh and today I'm joined with new signing Christian Campbell. Christian, welcome to the club. How does it feel to have joined? Oh, it feels really good. Um, spoke with Joe before joining. I know Joe and Pat. So, yeah, really happy to be on board. Well, for most players, I ask them to give themselves a bit of an introduction. But for you, I don't really think we need to do that because really, gospel life couldn't have gotten off to a much better start. Two assists, you look really solid going forward, really solid going back. It couldn't have really gotten off to a much better start. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it was a, it's been a, it's been a good start. I'm really enjoying it. And um, just before I joined, I spoke with Joe about the system where I'd fit in, and obviously Joe knows me from before. Pat knows me from before as well when we were at Bognar. And obviously at that time, there were players as well. So, yeah, I feel like I've slotted into the system really well and just looking to push on and keep going. Well, how we um, came on. But you know quite a few of the players already. So, you know Corey Jordan from your time at Eastbourne. And like you just mentioned there, you know Pat and Joe. So, was this a big reason for you joining Gosport? I wouldn't say it was a big reason, but it helps to know a few faces to settle in. I've played against Tarbs a few times as well. Um, obviously, there's Corey Jordan. And I feel like just over the years, I've just played against a few players and just come across their faces as well. So it just always helps to know a few people. Well, you definitely proved to be a solid player in your first game at Gosport and it was against Salisbury. You played in front of a lot of Gosport fans. And what did you make of your first game involving the atmosphere? Did you enjoy playing in front of the Gosport fans? Yeah, I really did enjoy it. It was nice to have them support me from the side, just giving little bits of encouragement. I also found out it was um, the highest attendance of the season. So yeah, it, was, it was a big occasion and yeah. Good to, good to be involved. Well, we'll speak a bit about Gosport a bit later in the episode. But for the fans who don't know you, can you just give us a bit of a rundown of your career? Yeah, so I actually started out as a goalkeeper at Bromley. Really? <laughs> yeah, I was at Bromley Academy as a goalkeeper and then I was just in the middle of a training session and they saw me training. <laughs> and they just said, uh, I said, I want to play out. So I said, yeah. And then, yeah, got moved to left back. And ever since, I've just always been a left back. But... Yeah, started out at Bromley, um, played at a few other National League clubs, Welling, Tombridge, Dartford. Um, yeah, and then was most recently at Chatham Town and now here I'm at Gosport Borough. Well, I think one of your most notable teams was actually when you were at Eastbourne. And I got sent this clip of you at Eastbourne where you were against a team called Bilkery Town. And looking at the clip, you danced around five players, I think it was, but you were on the touchline, you curled around one player. It was phenomenal. But would you say this is a big part of your playing? Would you say you're quite an attacking defender going forward? Yeah, I do like to be quite attacking. Um, Flair and tricks has always been part of my game. So I like to express myself when I'm on the pitch as well, to, to, to the best that I can. Well, to be fair, I have to admit, it was a lovely clip, that one, because like I got told, I must have loved doing the commentary for that clip. But no, I'll put a clip on you guys for you guys watching at home. But do you feel so, this kind of playing style, do you feel so it fits Borough? As we tend to play three fullbacks with two wingbacks who are usually used to defend, but also go forward at the same time. So do you feel so Borough, the way we are set up, it really fits how you play? Yeah, when I did speak to Joe, we had quite a long chat on his style of play, how he wants to play, how he is as a coach, how he works. And I felt like even though I had options that were a lot closer to home, I genuinely felt like that system would suit me the best. So for me, it was a no-brainer to be on board. Um, and yeah, obviously it seems to be working out so far. Hopefully it continues. And what was your main reasoning for joining Gosport? So what was your reasoning behind it? Uh, it was definitely the chat that I had with Joe. Um, at the time, I had a few other offers, but my mind was actually more with the offers that were close to the time. But it was literally after one phone call with Joe, I thought that is what's going to suit me best um, coming to Gosport. And in a free two, he told me my role, how they want to play, um, the position in the league where they're aspiring to be. And that, as well as many other things, I just thought it suits me. So. Yeah, I was keen to, to get it done. So what do you actually hope to achieve at your time at Gosport? Mainly for yourself, this question. Uh, for myself to get as many goal involvements as possible and well, to be promoted by the end of the season. Um, whether that's if we catch Chesham or not, the aims are just to be promoted either way. So do you feel so this is quite a realistic ambition to try and get promoted? Maybe through the playoffs or maybe even catching Chesham? 
I feel like that's extremely realistic, um, especially with the players that we've got in the dressing room. And I'll just sign with pet players. I feel like that's very realistic. Well, I'm sorry about my dog. I think he's barking in the background. But to be fair, that really summarises the interview. And to, Christian, for every interview I have here, I get the player to say the final words up the borough just to finally initiate yourself as a Gosport player. So can you get the final words up the borough? Of course. Up the borough. And final words from me, up the borough. And I think even my dog's saying up the borough just to round it off. 